This video was brought to you by the EA Creator Network. Hey y'all, it's Luca, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are building with one of the newest kits released for The Sims 4 Riviera Retreat. This kit is supposed to be kind of a, you know, glamorous, romantic, kind of escape kind of kit. Um, it has some pretty amazing items, I'm not gonna lie. I actually think that this is a definite it, yes. If you were to ask me, you know, should I buy this kit? Yes, you should. It's really, really beautiful. It has some really nice detailing. Um, that being said, I will say just like the last uh, kit build video that I did for the Cozy Bistro kit, um, I did find it quite hard to use by itself. So I'm using this kit today with, you know, all of the other packs as well. So I have, you know, the ability to kind of see what its full potential can, you know, be. I am building on this 20 by 20 lot in Tortosa. Uh, this is the Piccolo Loose the lot, um, Luce, Luce, I, tell me how to pronounce it in the comments if you can. Um, but yeah, I, I really love this lot. I've never built here before, to be honest. I was pretty overwhelmed and I found it quite daunting to build here because it was just, you know, so pretty. And I was like, I want to make sure the builds kind of, you know, uh, you know, they, they fit right. You know, this kit really, really thrives in this world. I will say, um, you could also, probably use it in Windenburg as well. Windenburg is, you know, very beautiful as well, but um, I think it just has that kind of flair that fits really well in Tartosa. So, um, but yeah, this build today is kind of a couple's retreat. Um, it's a pretty small little cottage here uh, on this island. Um, it does have two bedrooms and two bathrooms, so I was imagining maybe it would be like a pair of couples stay here, you know, maybe, or you could also convert it to to be like a family retreat or something like that. But um, it's a really small, pretty simple little home. I didn't want to, you know, make the home the only thing, you know, that I focus on. So it's not super big. It's not like super detailed or anything, um, but it is really cute. I really love the mixture of items that I used here. Um, the exterior, the uh, kind of stony stucco kind of texture that's from the Riviera retreat kit. It's super pretty. I love the detailing. Um, I will never complain about getting more build assets in this game. Trust me. I will like, I, I, they, they, they will continue giving us the, the kits and I will continue feeding on the kits. We'll get to it in a little bit. Um, but the primary items that come with this kit are kind of pool and spa related. Um, we have some, you know, assets that are, you know, like pool trims and tiles and, you know, a little, you know, poolside ladder and, you know, some lounge, lounger chairs. I don't know what you call those lounger chairs, lounge chairs we call them phone chairs, uh, here in, you know, the, the boonies. So it, it, we don't, we don't have, we don't use fancy words, you know, it also came with a little fire pit as well, which I really like. I don't know why that one particular item really caught my eye. Um, and it also comes with this really cool, I don't really know if I should call it a pergola. Um, it's sort of a pergola, sort of an arch because it's metal. And it has um, a couple different variations where there's, you know, there's some um, like cloth, you know, drapes on it. And then there's also a version with uh, some ivy growing on it. So it's really, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Like it's probably the most, you know, beautiful part of the kit itself. It's, it's so nice. But I'm not going to lie, y'all. I kind of struggled to come up with this idea to build. Um, my good friend Tanya uh, over at Griffey um, just was like, hey, I built in Tartosa. It kind of works. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that too. Because honestly, I was going to try to build a really cool... I was going to do something on the bluffs in Windenburg because I was like, that's a really good one. But it's a pretty big lot. It was kind of daunting. And I don't know. It just didn't 
fit right. Just because there is those uh, like uh, ruins in Windenburg and they're kind of graffitied and they're kind of like, I don't know, they were just not the right vibe, you know, they just didn't fit right. So um, I, you know, was stumped. But yeah, building in Tartosa really, really works for this kit so, so much. I used a mixture of items that uh, I don't normally use together, but I really liked. Um, I used the windows and doors from uh, Get Together, of course. Um, and then I was using this blue and like dark wood toned swatch on uh, that uh, fencing there from Strangerville. I actually really like how that looks, but I do change it because after a while it started to kind of be out of place. Um, but I think that that touch of blue was kind of a fun little touch actually I should have left it to be honest but yeah this home features like I said two bedrooms two small bathrooms and then one little kind of living and kitchen area it's quite small um, this house is really meant to be like they stay in the house but they're not really in the house for the vacation like they're not staying here for the house they're staying here for the scenery the you know the pool the ocean you know it's they're not inside much so um, but yeah, there's this nice little pool area out back. And then I added this beautiful like arch kind of thing. I'm just now realizing that I didn't add a back door to this house. Um, so you have to go out the front door to get to this area. That's kind of an oversight on my part, but you know, whatever. It's not that big a deal. It's the Sims. It's not supposed to be realistic. But yeah, I just put a couple of loungers out underneath that little archway, I, uh, archway, pergolo, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do change the swatches of all of this stuff later on. It's, it, it was, this was the part of the build that I was like, oh my gosh, swatches. What do I do? My brain was just not clicking yet, but it does. It gets there. Don't worry. But I really loved the new tiling that came with this kit. There's a tiling for the wall and the flooring, and they kind of go together. Um, beautiful detail and swatches. Highly recommend. Um, there's also a couple trims as well. I thought this one was really pretty. And um, yeah, I know I, I used the uh, Star Wars uh, stone in this build around the pool area and on the little driveway. I'm sorry, but like it just it just looked right, you know. The colors were right. The shapes were right. It just had the right vibe. You know, I, I apologize. I really do. I, I, I Every time I use the Batu pack, I'm just like, oh, this is terrible, but I love it. I could have easily used uh, something from like Get Together or maybe even just the tiling that came with this pack. That also would have looked really nice, but you know me. I, I, I like a good, you know, brown swatch, and this just has the right shade for this kind of build. But yeah, let's talk about the items. Let's talk about the items that came with this kit. So obviously you can see here that uh, pergola, there's also a new plant that I just placed down. Uh, very cute. Love the swatches. Love that it's it, the swatches are, you know, the pot changing color, not the plant, which is nice. A really nice fire pit, you know, some chairs, a table with umbrella, a per, um, the loungers. Um, they all kind of have the same swatches, uh, which is nice. They all go together as a set, which is pretty cool. Um, very beautiful. Love the detailing love the colors um i i'm gonna get a lot of use out of these honestly like i think this is a pretty great kit not gonna lie um like in you know earlier in the video i did say that this was you know gifted to me by ea i am part of the creator network now so uh this was free but i will say um i would have bought this kit anyway i think this is a really pretty kit um you you could build something like this without the kit, of course. Um, it's nothing like crazy and revolutionary, but I really think it adds a specific flair. You know, there's just something about just a few items changes the vibe, you know? And so this is definitely a vibe. I also used that plant, like planter holder thingamadoodle uh, from is it the blooming rooms kit yeah i've never used that item successfully um it's that three wide kind of you know weird metal framework thing that has like pots hanging down from it and i've never been able to use it but it weirdly fit on that little spot right there and it makes me want to use it more so uh yeah i don't know just a nice little touch that i really liked the landscaping was a bit tricky for me today i'm not gonna lie uh landscaping i don't know my brain's just not working with landscaping anymore because uh, i've been doing a lot of base game only builds lately and uh, I've been keeping the landscaping quite simple with those just because you know I'm in my base game save file I'm working on pretty realistic homes and I'm trying not to go 
overboard with the landscaping. So my landscaping skills and my landscaping eye was kind of not there for this build. So uh, yeah, I just kind of um, did whatever. I don't know. It just I just kind of plurped it around and just made it work. Um, yeah, it, it looks pretty. It's pretty cool. I use these really big hedges to surround the pool area just to kind of give some even more privacy, you know, even though they I would wouldn't want this because you know the the stunning views but you know maybe you want something cozy and quaint and quiet for you know your sims to be in and everything but yeah as you can see it is quite small um there isn't a dining space inside um i there is a small two-seater dining table out back i probably should have made that four-seater but you know whatever it's it's fine you know they're they can eat at the couch or they can sit down on the floor i, I mean maybe not on the floor but you know it, it, it'll it works okay it's functioning it does the job i really liked the vibes in here um also i'm just now noticing if you see in the bottom left corner actually you probably shouldn't look because if you do you're gonna continue to notice it um, for some reason my screen recording software has been buggy lately and uh, the little icon keeps showing up um, yeah so th this is a whole ordeal let's look at the behind the scenes here for a second um, so I use GeForce experience uh, the screen recording software it comes with it's usually it's always excellent it's a really really great screen recorder high quality low impact on your computer I highly recommend it if you are looking into wanting to make YouTube videos or any kind of videos where you you know capture your screen uh, I highly recommend it it's pretty simple and straightforward you don't have a lot of flexibility like OBS but it's very nice because it's very easy to just hit a shortcut on your keyboard and it just starts recording there's no opening a program or anything it's just there always and it's so nice problem is though right now is that since they have created a new exe file or executable file for the sims 4 um geforce experience doesn't read that this is a game anymore so it does not allow me to just capture the game itself it, it needs to capture the actual display which is a problem because it'll show anything that is on my screen not just recording the game so it's been a bit of an issue lately if you know how a workaround do let me know i've tried scanning you know multiple times within the settings uh to you know see if it'll pick up the new exe file if i run the sims from the old exe exe file um, it will recognize it as a game obviously but the new exe file it doesn't yet uh, i think that might be more on the geforce experience end actually because you know the sims 4 created this new one and then they just haven't registered it as a game yet i'm not really sure but if you are a computer person and you know what i'm talking about and you have any insight uh, do let me know in the comments because honestly it's been kind of annoying because i can't have anything else on my dis my screen and uh yeah it's it's just it's yeah it's not fun anyways all of that aside um i kind of sped through the main floor here um i didn't really stick to a color scheme in this build i just kind of did whatever honestly um i didn't really think oh i want this all to be green i want this all to be blue you know i just kind of was like it's whatever it's a vacation home maybe you know a big group of friends owns this together or something and they just kind of put together whatever uh and they all just kind of visit it on occasion or something like that if this was you know a utopian world where we can just have vacation homes um but yeah it, it's 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 kind of nice because i just kind of like threw in mismatched furniture and you know swatches and stuff and i don't know i think it, i think it worked out honestly but yeah it's super simple super small uh the kitchen is very very basic there isn't like any fancy bits or bobs um i honestly think i probably should have put in a coffee pot but you know i didn't really i didn't really think about that honestly but um you know you can renovate this if you want there's room for a little you know coffee pot maybe but i did put a little uh like stove in there a little you know instead of a full-on fireplace I put a little stove in there I thought that would look cute I didn't put a fireplace like chimney on the roof that probably would have been that probably would have been a smart thing but whatever um it's done it's that's all that's all that matters but uh yeah you can find this on the gallery under my username Luca Owens that is l-u-c-c-a-o-w-e-n-s 
as well as the hashtag Luca. Um, you can find that information in the description down below. And I just want to say I apologize if I am so all over the place and stumbling my words today. I have not recorded a voiceover in quite a while. I feel like I say that in almost every video though, honestly, at this point. Um, I've just been very busy lately. Like obviously work, I work a full-time job. So, you know, that's taking it out of me. Um, but I also did recently have a little bit of a lake trip uh, with my friends and my boyfriend. It was very lovely, actually. It was before the heat wave came through. It was very nice. It was like the perfect weather, perfect temperature. Uh, just being out in nature was so rejuvenating and so refreshing and I loved it so much. I was, it was a private little, you know, it was a big lake, of course. It was very busy, but we we found our little private little spot and we went and just like went wading in the water and as the true goblin of my soul, goblin, dwarf, however you want to call it, um, I looked for rocks that made me happy. <laughs> I, I collected quite a few and I have them and I'm going to put them in a little jar and have it be on my desk and just look at it. <laughs> that's just, that's, I'm so excited for that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very nice. I wore my Speedo and I was very out in the air. It was very nice. It was great. Anyways, back to the build. Um, there is a bathroom on each floor, which I kind of was surprised I was able to make it work. Um, but this one on the base, base floor, the ground floor. Um, it has an actual bathtub in it, which is nice. And then upstairs, it's just a shower. Um, but yeah, this, I feel like this would be very useful for, you know, a group of Sims on vacation, maybe two couples come here, or you could even, you know, change up the bedroom downstairs to be for kids or something. If you wanted this to be kind of like a family event or something like that. Um, it, it, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of uses and, um, you could also just live here because, you know, you can just, live in Tortosa, which it's not just a vacation world. So, um, which I really wish that they would go back and kind of update like Granite Falls. I, I really wish that they would just get rid of destination worlds entirely and then just make them residential because I want to live in Granite Falls. I know it's a campground. I know it's supposed to be for camping and that's the vibe, but I love Granite Falls. It's beautiful. It's perfect. So I just want to live there. Um, same with Selva Dorada. I really wish we could actually live in Selva Dorada more than Granite Falls, honestly, because it's such a beautiful world. It just, it makes the most sense. I don't know. What do y'all think? Do let me know. I know that there is like a reason for destina destination, <laughs> destination worlds, but um, I'm not really sure. I, yeah, I just want to live in Silver Dorada, man. It's just so pretty. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for today's speed build. Um, if you liked it and you would like to like the video, I would appreciate it. Um, and then if you want to join the, the crazy little community, we, community we got here, um, yeah, just subscribe if you're new. Um, and then if you got to this part of the video, why don't you comment your favorite shade of orange? I'm looking at that orange umbrella on that table outside and I'm like, yeah, What's your favorite shade of orange? Um, mine personally, personally <laughs> is sunset orange. I like a nice muted, but warm orange, something that's just soft and subtle. Um, I don't like anything too bright, but anyways, like I said, um, if you want to download this build, it is available on the gallery under my username, Luca Owens. So yeah, that'll be in the info in the description down below. Yeah. I'm at the part of the video where I don't know what else to say. Um, but yeah, I just kind of finish up the episode stairs here. And, uh, yeah, it's again, mismatched kind of all over the place. I'm using swatches on items that I normally wouldn't, and I'm just doing it. Um, like that swatch there of that bed, I would never use that because I'm not a big fan of that specific shade of green, but it kind of works here. I don't know. It just looks like a family vacation house where they just have blankets and stuff that are just kind of mismatched and whatever, because they're, they're not living there. They're just staying there and it's not supposed to look fancy because it's just their own little home. So yeah. Anyways, um, I love y'all take care of yourselves. And once again, thank you so much to the EA creator network for giving me this pack and allowing me to make this video for you all. But anyways, that's everything. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and I'll speak to y'all next time. Bye y'all.
Thank you.